What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow me by Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction review started. Season 22 of the Mahabharata. I'm like at the end. I am, right? I'm at the big war. And everything, I feel like every episode is like a climax. <laughs> every episode, something's happening. <sighs> and, and it has me nervous. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, because you love all these these people in it. And you, you've you grown attached to them. And, and now I'm just like, I hope they live. I don't want to see anybody die. But I know they're going to. I know they're gonna. I just want, well, I do want to see some. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I want to see some. Like the mean prince can go. Oh, he can go. So, and his brother. And his uncle. You know what I'm talking about. They have one. The Pandavas got Krishna. Lord Krishna on their side. At least they got that. I mean, wouldn't y'all take Lord Krishna over? Like even a bigger army. I mean, watching this, I would. He's always got the plan. He's there for him. He's. I mean, even beginning this plan because right the first day, the first day they were like devastated. Right, they were like, oh, the the Kuros, the Kuros won. They they were and and even you know the mean prince was all cocky. All oh, we're we're gonna win. Then and then they're like, you better watch out, watch yourself. So here comes over here Krishna. They are talking about you know the next day and everything and Krishna's like I got a five-step plan he had a good one too I mean he had a good one he had to, he was like you got to isolate this and do this well one part of the plan <laughs> what was it one part had Yudi has to like lie right you're like Yudi you better do this this part of the plan it's not even like you're lying you're not even having to say anything all you have to do is pretend pretend you're taking your army and you're going off to, to Hestanpur and, and you're taking them and you're going to attack there. That's going to make them, you know, go after you. And it's true. Because that's what happened. But before that, oh, I was getting so mad. Oh, right before, you know, the plan's going off as it should. Everything's falling, falling in line. But here comes Yudi. It's, it's your turn, Yudi. And he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, I wanted to go in there and I grab him by the ear. I'm like, you're doing this, Yudi. Listen to Lord Krishna, you're doing this. He finally does. I can't do it, it's not right. <sighs> Gets on my nerves. He finally does, he goes off. And of course, just like it's like, you know, that Lord Krishna predicted, Bhishma went after him because, you know, that mean prince sent him. And he was out there too. If I was Bhishma, I, could, I would be done with that, that mean prince. <laughs> I would be so done with him. I am ordering you. You know how he talks, I am ordering you. You going after this. Da, 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 da. So he follows him, right? He follows him out there. The, you know, follows Yudi. And what happens, like, you, I, I like their little encounter, right? Like, Yudi turns, and they're just, like, smiling at each other. He's like, I wasn't going, Uncle. I wasn't going, but I knew you were going to come after me. I knew the mean prince going to come after you. And even Bishma right there, like, he smiles. He's like, oh, you got him, <laughs> you know? And that's when you're like, is Lord Bishma like he really you feel in your heart he, he you you know I said Lord Bishma just Bishma you feel in your heart you know that he wants them to win you do but he has to like fight against them that must be the most difficult thing in the world heaven you want to side you have to fight against the side you want to win there's more steps of the plan right more steps of the plan start taking off like uh where Arjun was attacking the, the Drona's son because he had to like separate them and here comes Drona. You know he's going to be after, you know, come after and save his son anytime. But this was the big one. When Beam and the mean prince, you know, they come head to head. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. And I feel like you just saw, when when Beam shows up, I feel like you just saw in the prince's eyes, like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I felt like that. Like, you know he's scared of him. He is. I mean, look at Beam. He's a big old monster. He's, like, huge. He done already, you know, almost, he was the one that always took you on already and always won. But he went and fought him. He got his big gauntlet thing and everything. And they went head to head. I was like, okay, they're fighting him. I feel like he wanted to run away though. <laughs> I feel like Beam was also kind of 
you know, teasing him a little bit. Because didn't he, he called him like a coward. He's like, come on, you coward. What, you can only hit women? You are, come fight me, you coward. And he got bad. What did he like? He did a little jump off his chariot and go and fight with Beam. And, and well, you think he's going to win with, against Beam? Never. Unless he cheats. And that's what he does, right? He throws the sand in his eyes. But before that, he was even losing. And then that brother tried to get in. Oh, remember that? That brother tried to get in their fight. And wasn't it Karn that stopped him? Like that brother was going to get in there. And he's like, no. Like Karn stopped him. And it's like, you can't get in there. Wasn't that, was that Karn or somebody else? I was just like, oh, you bet. Good. They're, they always want to cheat them. And that's why I said, even then, that's when uh, the mean prince wants to come up and cheat and throw the dirt in his eyes and he can't see and he's gonna attack him and oh and he took that thing and busted poor Beam with and he was on the ground and bleeding I was like oh see this is the thing this is where it comes in he, that prince always gets too cocky he could have he could have killed Beam right then he was on the ground he was like knocked out unconscious he could have killed him right then but he wants to go around gloating oh I'm the champ get up get up I'm the champ get up Beam oh you're gonna fight me I'm a cow come fight me he, and then that's when the brothers started calling out. Remember, they were like, "Beam, beam, wake up, wake up, beam!" And he did. I was like, "Then he would." You know how that mean prince always gets that look in his eye. You know how he does. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, have that look." You could have had him right then, but your, your your ego got a hold of you. You wanted to prance around like I'm the best, and now look, beams after you. You you're done for. Well, still, what well, that's happening? You got over here, Yudi and and uh, and Bishma going on uh, together, right? You got them headed headed off because them two are fighting over on the other side. So you got all these fights going on. But Beam was about to end him. They were like, "End them!" Here comes Bishma with Yudi. Got to capture with this thing on his neck. Like, let him go. I'm gonna kill Yudi. And even then, remember you, they're like telling Yudi, and he's like, if he kills me, this is going to be the end of the war. So go ahead, Beam, kill him, he'll kill me, everything's ended. Beam couldn't do it. Right there, see that's why, you know, Yudi will get on my nerves. Yudi will get on my nerves with his, I can't be, do, 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 I can't be treacherous, pretend, and then he's going to you know, do stuff like that. That's, it evens it out. Cause right, one minute I'm mad at Yudi and the next I'm like, all right, that was, that was good. Even though Beam didn't, did it, didn't do it. I didn't expect, I didn't think he was gonna. I was like, he can't, mm -mm, he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna sacrifice his brother. But see, he could have like saved how many lives because then what happened? So they exchanged, right? They had the prisoners, Beam didn't kill him. He, he gave, you know, Yudi back to the Pandava's side and everything. But then what, then, then, oh, then, then, that mean Prince is going to come up and be like, you could have killed Yudi. You're on their side. You're too weak. You got this. You, you're blinded. You should have slayed him. You could have killed him. That's, that's your fault. Like, he was like saying like, he was like treacherous, right? He was like, you, you are on their side. You ain't, you ain't going to be able to kill them. That made him mad, didn't it? And even over on the other side, even the Pandavas were talking to Krishna, remember? And and they were like, look, grand, the grandfather could have killed us, and he didn't. He ain't going to kill us. And that's when, remember, Krishna was like, things change. You better watch it. Krishna knows. We better watch it. Things change. And they did because that's what, you know, Bhishma was like, I'm going to, how dare you call me treacherous. I'm going to slay everything. I'm going to slay it all. How dare you? And then when he showed up on that battlefield the next day, like even Krishna knew, because they were like, they all got in this formation, right? The, the war formation. And they're waiting for them. And they're like, grandsire is not getting in a formation. And then I even have right here. Because then the, I just like the, with the Krishna, with Krishna's look on his face. Y'all like, let's look at this together with me. Ready? Go. Look what he said. Baby. War needs a formation, he says, right? Decimate doesn't. So he's even saying, Lord, look, Lord Krishna's even saying, look at him. That Bhishma's there to just kill. He don't even have a war, war formation, nothing. He's just there to go crazy and just killing everybody. That's why they're all like, I think our G was just, and he 
does. He like is bloodthirsty. I'm like, I never seen this side of the the Bishma. And this is where I'm like, where's that girl? Where's the Ambia Amber that tank turned into the Chicago whatever her name, the longer name I, Ambia was easier. I was like, she needs a, that's the only thing that's gonna stop him. Cause he is crazy. And then it's like first day. Remember it's like first day. Uh, he killed like this many armies. The night they only had like at the end they only have a couple thousand I feel armies left. He just dis dis disseminated them. Even after going after his little nephews there. Remember he went after you. Let's look at this. Let's look at that. Look at him. Look at the craziness in his eyes. You can tell. And Yudi's like what? Look at him. He's like you trying to kill me? Again, and uh, you could tell like the shock in his eyes. He had, they they were not they were not prepared for Bishma to come out like he did. They were not prepared for this. No, they weren't. They weren't prepared for Bishma to come out like this, just wanting to kill everybody, going after Yudi. Look, they even went after he went after our June son. Look at this. Look at head to head. Look at him, and he throws that arrow. Stop, look, cause look, Arjun ain't gonna let that happen. Look, <laughs> I was like, yeah, look, there's Arjun, Lord Krishna, and there's Arjun stopping him. <sighs> mm -mm, mm -mm, he don't even care. Bishma just, all oh, he got it clouded his brains. And remember, he was that even the night before. He was like, I'm gonna mourn tonight and everything, but tomorrow I'm going. It don't matter. I'm just gonna go kill everything. And that's what he's doing. Trying to kill his nephews, trying to just uh, decimate that army. Oh, and then they had some of the scenes, like the women are crying and they're potty, remember? And then, so I'm still having trouble with my, my subtitles. I am, it's a pain. But I like I, little parts here and there they won't have subtitles. And one of them was what like Drapati seeing like the you know all the the bodies coming back and the women crying and stuff. And and then her and Lord Krishna have this little conversation. I was like, what did they say? And it didn't have subtitles for it. <sighs> Some of the parts that, that happens it, it kills me because I'm like oh, I want to know what they're saying so bad. Anyway, I saw the scenes for the next season already. It looks, even at the end of this, remember Lord Krishna was tired, tired of Bishma. He's like, stop, remember? He's like, hey, Lord Krishna, he had to, you know when Lord Krishna gets that anger in his eyes, you're like, oh, things are going to happen. And it seems like right at the end of this, and you saw the scenes for the next one, him and, him and Bishma is going to, something's going to go on between them two. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're going to be finishing up these seasons. I'm going to try to do a nut, like get this second, or what, what, this is season 22. I'm going to try to do 23 this week also, do a little review, start that one. Because it's only, I think, like five episodes or six in that one too. So these are shorter ones I can I can get through faster. But I'm getting through faster, just so much going on. I'm like, let's watch it next. Let's watch it next. Hopefully just the subtitles don't mess up. Let's cross our fingers for that one. But let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!